Francesco is not a film that I would have watched if Helena Bottom Carter was not in it. However, I am so pleased that I watched it because it is brilliant. It's, it's quite long. I have quite a short attention span, particularly when it comes to dramas and biographical dramas when I'm not familiar with that individual's life. But in terms of the production quality and how gripping and emotional the narrative is, it's really quite something. It was released in 1989, Written by and directed by Liliana Cavini, and this is a biopic about the life of St. Francis of Assisi, an individual whose name I'd heard but literally knew nothing else about. And in case you're not familiar with who he is or what kind of the main crux of this is, I'll read the plot summary from IMDb, but I will try and take out anything that I would consider to be a spoiler. The life of St. Francis of Assisi, uh, 1181 to 1226, as related by followers who gathered after his death to tell stories so that Leone can record them. A privileged and virile youth, a prisoner of war, an heir who turns away from his father and gives all to the poor, a beggar for others, and an inspiration to friends who accept the gospel's life of poverty. This is very much a film of inspiration, it's uplifting, it's very emotional. St. Francis's journey in this film is quite powerful to watch and it's very captivating. Now I can't say how accurate this is because as I said, apart from the name, I didn't really know anything else about this. But in terms of the enjoyment factor, it's very enjoyable. Mickey Rourke is Francesco and he, his performance is brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Again, I had no expectations for what the visual design of this individual would be like. But for me watching this as somebody with no prior knowledge, it works really well. He depicts the struggles so effortlessly but I expect it took a lot of emotional strength and willpower to actually get through this, especially given the length of it and how much he's the focus of this. HBC plays a character called Kiara. She's pretty prominent in this and I adore her in this. I love her character and she's, she's a very interesting individual, certainly for being a female at this time. Um, is the portrayal of females at this time accurate? Yeah, um, yeah, sure. It's it's not it's not um, inaccurate. It's pretty great. As I said, I wouldn't have really ever even heard of this film had Helena uh, Helena Bonham Carter not been in this. So I'm thankful that she was. Would I watch it again? Only for HBC. It's one of those films that I've watched once. It's amazing but it's exceptionally long and I'm probably never going to watch it again purely because it took a lot of effort to watch it. Unless, of course, I was studying St. Francis for whatever reason, then yes, I'd quite happily watch it again. If you know how accurate it is, please let me know. I'd be really interested to know where they've taken creative liberties or maybe it's 100% accurate. I don't know. I like the costumes. I like the locations. It's pretty great. Not the best film I've ever seen, but I think it's taken this complex story, very emotive story, and, and portrayed it, to my knowledge, pretty well.